Well, I don't worry about necessarily doing everything right um, because I have reached my, my goal weight, but I do remember, you know, there was a time where it, it was a major concern. Like I was worried about everything, every little thing, like, you know, um, you know, would I be home in time or would I get too hungry? And then that would make me, you know, want to go out and, and eat something or just grab something where I am or worried about, um, you know, like the holidays coming up or a potluck or something at work. Um, like, yeah, all those kind of things did really stress me out and, and how I would handle them. Um, and then make, make sure everything was measured so precisely, you know, like I didn't want to, if, if it came down to it being like one calorie over or one calorie less or something like that, I would always go with the one calorie less. I'm like, I'd rather cheat myself <laughs> on a number of calories than to cheat myself on the other end and, um, you know, break my, um, the basically a standard that I, that I set for myself. So, um, yeah, that, that was always a, a major focus at first, but right now I will say that no, I don't worry about it, but I do try to stay focused on it. Like whatever my goal is for, for that day, that's the goal for the day. Um, do I always accomplish that? No, I don't. But then I'm always thinking too about the next day. Like you gotta stick to your goal. You gotta stick to your goal. But I'm not beating myself up. Um, not as many tears because there were lots of tears. But um, definitely um, not so much worrying about things. At this time, I still have trouble seeing myself uh, as my new self. What am I? I think I'm like 168 most of the time. Um, I have trouble seeing myself as that because when I when I walk past a mirror or a TV or something where I see myself, sometimes I have to do like a double take, like, oh, that's me, because <laughs> I'm expecting a, a much bigger person to to be in the uh, you know in the frame, in the picture, or whatever, uh, in the reflection, I guess I should say. Um, but yeah, so in my mind, I, I think I am still the the 243 pound person, um, and I and I don't, don't know when that'll change like you know when that'll be different for me but um it is it's it's kind of weird it's kind of strange that that happens to me still <laughs> i do still have some of my old clothes and uh i'm kind of sad to say that <laughs> because um i did throw away a lot of things but my weight had been fluctuating so much in the last two three maybe four years that I was very reluctant to throw them all away this time because um, I had, you know, that, that's money. Like, you know, you gotta buy everything over again. And um, I just, I don't know, I, I kind of felt like, well, since my weight had been fluctuating so much, you know, recently, like just hold on to something, you know, get rid of most things, but hold on to something. So. I did, I did, and I, I think I've given myself one year to hold on to those things, and I think it's only been maybe four, five months since, uh, you know, since I put those away and, and I made that agreement with myself. But yeah, I, I think it's definitely tied to to how I see myself. If I saw myself as the person that's like one sixty eight now, one sixty, fluctuating between one sixty eight, one sixty five, um then I think I would be more willing to let them go. But it's just, I don't know, right now, I will say that that part is really still hard for me is to see myself as the, the new person and to be that. But I do hold on to these thoughts that, that my mentor told me one time. He said, um, you're not going back to, you know, that person who, who you were. Like, now you know who you are. And so those things you used to do before, all that overeating and, and overindulging and, and things like, you don't do that anymore. And I just grabbed it and, and believed it. You know, it's like, I can tell myself that, but I think, I don't know what it was that day in hearing from him. Cause even, you know, getting in the, on the phone call with him is like, I was still unsure, uncertain about committing to losing weight. But it's like, when he said that, that you, you know who you are now, I didn't know, I still don't know what the answer is to that, <laughs> but I know who I'm not. I'm not that person that'll just let myself go again. I'm not lying to myself, I'm paying attention to the numbers and, you know, just doing the best I can for myself right now. 
And, and there's always room for improvement. I think what it'll take for me to accept that this is the new me is time. Just time. Just continuing to be this person that I am, you know, happy with, um, you know, the weight that I've lost, happy with the weight that I am right now, um, happy with my food choices, happy with um, the amounts of food that I um, eat. So I think that's, that is a, a major thing, like, in accepting, you know, who I am and being that, that person, like I said, I gave myself one year to hold on to those clothes. Um, so hopefully in that year, like my mind will have changed enough to, um, just be, just be, um, you know, that person, like I said, that person that knows who they are, even though I'm still figuring that out and, and don't know for sure. But, um, I believe, you know, like that my change has come. It's just a matter of me walking into it and, and embracing it fully and, um, just continuing to be. Continuing to be. Um, when I was heavier and I walked past the mirror, I didn't really give much attention to myself. No, I didn't really care to, to look at myself very much uh, during that time. So, um, you know, just walking past the mirror is walking past the mirror. It is a tool. Make sure you close straight. Make sure that nothing's on your face. <laughs> you know, did you comb your hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything's done. It's clean. I'm clean. And that was it. It wasn't... Um, I mean, not saying that I'm doing any more now, but it was like, it wasn't a major thing for me. I kind of knew what I was going to see. So now seeing, you know, basically someone different, um, it's a different experience. It's, it's, a almost a, a disbelief. Like, wow, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Wow. So yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's a, it's like, I guess I can say it's a total like mind hack. Like, you know, like this, this is me. Yeah, that's, that's you. <laughs> so embrace it, you know. Uh, I think I could say right now, like a fear would be to get overconfident and think you got everything, um, you know, under control in the bag or whatever. And, um, winding up back at <laughs> 240 something pounds, like, um, it's just being overly confident. I, I will definitely say that, you know, it's like, I don't want to worry definitely, but I like being mindful of, you know, what I'm doing. I love quantifying, you know, what I'm eating, how much I'm eating. Um, yeah, so I don't, I just don't want to be overly confident and think I got it and, you know, because you, you can lose it just like that. So just yeah be be mindful that's my thing be mindful well I, I think me weighing myself like i weigh myself first thing in the morning and then before i go to bed at night so like i say being very be, being very mindful being very mindful because i've never been a person to weigh myself no matter when i lost weight or when i gained weight never really weighed myself so you think that helps i do because it's always in front of me you know, it's, it's always in front of me. So yeah, I, I have no, I'm without excuse. <laughs> and, and I have limits. Like I, I say, you know, if I reach this weight, then I know I need to really cut back and get back into weight loss mode as a, instead of maintain weight mode. You start, <clears throat> you start finding vegetables on deck. Just uh, some cabbage, red cabbage, white cabbage, um, broccoli, um, straight up, and of course, two carrots on top. Something like the Asian five spice powder. You're not cooking Asian inspired food if you're not using this. This stuff is good. <laughs> it's good, good. Little house of same classic stir fry sauce. It's good. It's really good actually. We gotta try. I got that from um, Walmart. It's um let's see here. Twenty-five calories per tablespoon. So I'm putting two tablespoons in there, but then it's gonna be divided over uh what's that, probably like four or five days, so little to nothing but every calorie counts, so I count them all finished product 
here. Actually, there is one, two, and then three. This one, I ain't had no eggs. <laughs> no, more, no more eggs, so I gotta get some more eggs to go on that one. But, you know, each bowl, about 375 calories. That's with the rice, vegetables, two eggs in each bowl. Gotta get my protein or else I'll be hungry. So, protein helps, helps me feel full. So, there you go.